Now, one of the key strains on the healthcare system involves family doctors. Millions of Canadians simply don't have one. And waiting lists can be years long. Now, amid the shortage, we have the story of one physician who wants to practice here, but who's tangled up in that red tape. It was our JP Tasker who brought that story to us. JP, great to see you. Now, tell us, this doctor, a Canadian, currently living in Australia, can't practice? What's going on? Yeah, Dr. Stephanie DeMarkey is from Hamilton, Ontario, but for the last 10 years, she's been living and working in Australia, and now she wants to come back to Canada to take over her mother's practice in Hamilton, Ontario. Her mother is a general practitioner, a well-loved family doctor, so Dr. DeMarkey says, I've had enough of Australia, it's time to go back, but she's really faced an arduous process trying to actually get licensed to practice here in Canada. There is so much red tape that she has to go through that 16 months into this process, she still doesn't have the license. Let's listen to Dr. DeMarkey. I don't know why, you know, Canada wouldn't want to have these skilled workers in a time of crisis. I don't know why they haven't kind of created a much more polished, efficient system. So the real problem here seems to be the Medical Council of Canada. That's the body that really verifies foreign credentials. They've taken so long to go through her application, to review her medical degree, to review her postgraduate certificate, to review her resume. She moved back to Canada thinking that it wouldn't take all that long. She brought her Australian husband and her two kids here thinking it would just be something that would come through in the near, near term. Well, that didn't happen. So what did she have to do? Dr. DeMarkey had to move back to Australia by herself to a small rural town in New South Wales, Gundagai, to wait for the MCC to actually process all her documents, and she left behind her family in southern Ontario. She wanted to move back because she has to keep her Australian license valid while she waits for the Canadian process to complete. So you can imagine, she has just gone through so much over the last 16 months, just trying to get back to her own country to practice something that she's been doing for the last 10 years plus, well Anna. Yeah, wow. So what's responsible for the delays? What does the Medical Council of Canada have to say for itself? They say they're dealing with a backlog, that there are a lot of people that want to have their foreign credentials verified, that want to move to Canada to try to be a doctor here. They say they just have so much to go through and they're sorry that it's taking so long. They say that they are trying to hire new staff. But the real issue here is accountability, Anna, because the Medical Council of Canada it's really difficult to pinpoint who's responsible for this independent organization that does this really important work as part of the licensing process. I asked the federal government, you know, do you have any oversight over this national body? And they say, no, that's not our business. We're not actually checking up and seeing how well the MCC is performing, if there's reasonable timelines for doctors that are trying to get here. I spoke to one expert who is in, uh, who really does know everything that needs to be known about the physician licensing system. She says it's a real problem that there's so much overlap. There's the Medical Council of Canada, there's the provincial colleges, there's the Royal College, there's the College of Family Doctors. There's so much to this process. She says that all of this bureaucracy is really threatening people's lives. Have a look. It's like the, the bureaucracy is, is totally blind to the fact that people are dying, literally dying and suffering because they can't get a physician to treat them. Rosemary Polyuk there says we have to figure this out fast because Canada is really grappling with a massive shortage of doctors. The World Bank of Canada did a study recently. The estimate will be short 44,000 doctors in just five years' time, Hannah. So the government and the various bodies responsible for all this have to kind of speed things up and get these Canadian-born doctors working here at home. JP, good job on this story, and you can read it online as well. JP Tasker in Ottawa, thank you kindly. Thank you.